Mr. President. Senator from Maryland. I'm pleased to yield to my colleague from New Hampshire, Senator Hassan. Thank you, Senator Cardin. Mr. President. The Senator from New Hampshire. Thank you, Mr. President. I join with my colleagues here in saying how disappointed I was that today's vote to reopen the government immediately while we keep negotiating to address border sec security was defeated. But I am encouraged by the bipartisan group on the Senate floor with me this afternoon to send one clear message. Let's pass a clean three-week continuing resolution to reopen the government immediately. And each of us is committed to working to pass a strong bipartisan border security bill during that three-week period. Like many of my colleagues, uh, I've gone down to the border. I've talked to our frontline personnel on the border. There is a lot of common ground about what we need to strengthen our border security. And I join my colleagues here and thank Senators Cardin and Murkowski for organizing us in saying that we can get to a solution on border security, but we need to open the government right away. There is no reason to keep the government closed while negotiations on strengthening border security continue. And in fact, there, there is concern that negotiations forced by shutdown sets a dangerous precedent. So I strongly urge my colleagues from both parties to support this bipartisan approach. I thank Senators Graham and Cardin, too, for their leadership in this effort. And I'm committed to working with them and the rest of this bipartisan group to find a way forward. Every day, that this senseless shutdown continues, it is hurting people in New Hampshire and across the country. We have all been sharing stories. We have heard the stories. We have talked to the hardworking men and women who serve the people of this country, who are doing their work without pay or are furloughed and really don't know how they're going to make their next mortgage payment, their next utility payment, and put food on the table, get their medication, all of the things that they need a good day's wages to do. So we need to end this now. I join with my colleagues in being here this afternoon to simply say that we need to open the government and that I am committed, as so many all of us are, to negotiate in good faith going forward to find a solution on border security. Thank you, Mr. President, and I yield the floor.